So we're back on the Wildlife Tower project. We're on week three now of the build. We've managed to get the masonry work up and we've got the oak roof on. Um, so we'll go and have a look and see what the lads have been doing. So we're back in Burnley. It's not raining for a change. And uh, we're back on the Wildlife Tower. And we just want to give a quick update to where we are now. We've managed to get all the masonry work up from his last video where we're around about halfway, um, halfway up and we've come up now, we've got the wall plates on, we've put the uh, oak rafters on as well and we're just on we putting in the uh, bird boxes actually inside the attic space and we've also got the uh, floor level in uh, down at what you call first floor level. So what we've done is we've got some, some green oak on this because we want some longevity in this building uh, and I don't want to be coming back in 10 years and having to put a new roof on it. So what we've got is some six before green oak wall plates that we've put on and we've got a six before uh, ridge beam uh, that we've laid flat. Uh, normally you'd stand them up but you know there's a lot of beef in this um, six before beam and, and the roof um, span is not that great on the distance it's, it's beaming over. Um, and we wanted plenty of seating on for the rafters to sit on. So that's why we decided to put it flat ways on. So we've got 500 mil overhang on the sides and that, that will enable um, to keep the weather out from you know the birds and everything that's going in here and the bats and everything. Um, and what we're going to do on the bottom as well, we're going to have a big overhang on here. We're probably going to be about 650 mil off the wall and we'll cut these rafters off at the minute. We've just got the rafters so they're um, just over sailing so we're going to cut all these off um, straight uh, probably tomorrow now and um, yeah we're ready for um, getting the uh, getting the roof together next stage we've got some uh, we've cut down in our joining workshop we've cut down some uh, 2b1 uh, green oak again uh, to make some oak battens ready for the uh, ready for slating on We've got some lads up 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 on yard cutting some uh, slates down. We've got some that we salvaged off the job, and they're just trimming them down to 18 by 10s. So next job, what we what we need to do, we've got some Type 1F membrane to go on this. The bat people don't like us using the woven because bats all get tangled up in it. So we've got some bitumen base uh, 1F to go on it, and we've also cut down these oak 2B1 uh, roofing battens as well, rather than using the standard green or red tan lines battens. One step better as always, and we're going to bang some 2B1 oak on it. What we're going to do is we want to put, um, we're going to do the majority of it in a blue slate, and then we're going to put two bands of purple in uh, with a scallop and diamond detail in there as well. Just kind of show off a little bit, make it look good. So what we've got going on here, lads have been in here today, we're boxing out against the underside of the rafters. This is going to be the barn owl box. We've just got the floor in, um, we're going to put some ply down there and then stud this side out and we're going to have an access door on this side so that if anyone ever needed to they can get access in, in, into, the, uh, into the nest there um, and it's just access from the, uh, from the top up there uh, through the hole. Um, so yeah, it's, um, we're going to got the other side to do as well, the other one's for a kestrel uh, nest and a, I think a small owl. Um, so that's going nearly on the other side, we'll probably crack on with that tomorrow. Um, and then yeah, we've got the floor in as well, uh, which is a good point now. We can make it work, work in a lot easier. But what we want to try and do is get all these internals fitted out before we kind of start on the roof because it just makes passing all materials in uh, a lot easier. Uh, and then later on as well, we've got some uh, back roofs that are going in on, on this top floor against the wall. Um, we're just going to course some holes through the mainstream, probably make some lead, lead bat access um, points from the external, um, but we haven't figured that one out yet, but it's all going well. So we're back on the Wildlife Tower. We're on week four now. We've had a few issues with weather. It's been snowing and raining really badly um, over the last couple of weeks. So it's kind of delayed it now, but four weeks in and we're doing fairly well. We're almost slating the roof up. And what we've done is we've got, um, we've got these slates on. These, as I've probably said before, we've got these reclaimed off for another job and we've just cut them down to 18 by 10s and we're putting these lead bat vents in we're putting four in this side putting four in the other side as well and with the slates we wanted to kind of do something a little bit different um, we haven't got too much time to really go to town with this uh, so we've just put some diamonds in put three coats of diamonds in and then we're going back again 
on the top course, uh, just normal slates, and we've got the other two back vents to go on there. We're going to plan on putting um, a lead ridge on this, uh, so we'll put a big lead roll on, on the top and we'll uh, put a nice lead ridge in, probably do some scallop detail on it or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's going well, lads have been working hard for, like say, four weeks on this and the weather's been really against us. Uh, but we should be, um, next week I'd have thought, we should be somewhere near, end of next week, somewhere near complete. So now we've got all the uh, roof slates on, we're basically nearly done with, with the roof now. We've got the barge boards on and we've put these oak timber fillets over the top as well. This is going to stop the uplift, or uh, the wind getting underneath the slates and, and trying to rip the roof off basically. We've got those four back vents in now and we've done the ridge, that's in some Code 5 uh, that we had lying around in the workshop. And what we've done is just cut a little decorative pattern in there just to make it look good. Um, we're going to put a, I've done a scallop detail as well out of some more scrap lead that we had knocking around. So I've got a scallop detail that's going to go over the top of that as well. Uh, we'll screw that into the top uh, timber roll and then put some uh, lead well, some buttons on top of that. And that's the roof done.